Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Well, the recent rains have brought the pond up, but it's also muddied it up pretty good too. It's back up to that granite rock right there again. If I can find it. That's kind of my gauge right there. No dead fish from the influx of a different kind of water, so this is all good. I'm going to go in here and check out the Azola. I don't know which pit Tatai put that Azola in, but he didn't put them in down here where I asked him to. All well, this corn is falling over for some reason. I'll bet Tatai put that Azolan down here. <laughs> well, I can't really tell where he put it in. I'm going to go check where the outflow pipe is and start the pump. We did have some wind yesterday, but I wouldn't have thought it would be enough to blow this corn down. But I guess it was. I wanted to do test pits here. Well, Tatai, he does have that elbow there turned up. So maybe he put it in this pit. If you put it in this one, we were going to do that test pit in two pits. Tatai's not here right now. He's went to get rice hulls. And I don't know. I just have no idea which pits he's done that in. Well, regardless, I'm going to start the pump. Continue this water exchange. I wonder if this, yeah, this siphon is still working. Let's see how much 
fuel we got left in here. I've decided we need to, uh, well we're not going to abandon the old well, but we're going to uh, utilize this new one, that's for sure. So this is the, uh, that blue one inch line there is what used to go, part of what used to go up to the plateau is the water supply on that uh, storage. Uh, storage shed that's up there and we had water that used to come from the water tank all the way up uh, around the edge of that field there all along that area there all the way up to the plateau and I had the idea um, we need to we need to utilize this well to fill up our tank our water storage tank because our well up there is down to about a foot of water uh, it's been at about a foot of water for over a month and so we're going to splice into this I don't know where Tatai wants to do the splice where do you want to do the splice Tatai? We're, we're, Where do you want to do the splice, Tatai? Here or over there? From here. From here? Okay. So we're going to splice into it here. As per Tatai's master plan. And run water from this well. <laughs> Up to... Huh? You want me to sell your sale? Hmm? You're going to sell your sale. You're going to sell your sale. You're going to sell your sale. You're going to The Tatan crew have been up there unburying this line. I came down here hunting them and couldn't find them. And they were up on the plateau. Bira, what's that mean? Oh. <laughs> Stop barraing. Faster! This was the fix rather than having to buy another roll of uh, the one inch poly, which is about 3,500 pesos, when we already had this. Just took a little time to unbury it. It was only down about six inches.
You've got Nerio steering the train, Tate? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Nothing. You need 10 more meters, that day. All right, well, we need about another six or seven meters. And that's not going to happen today because it's quitting time. We're just going to run this back over there, splice into it, put a ball valve on it so we can run the water one way or another and uh, call it good. I'm not going to bury this because we may at some point need to remove it. I'm just tired of not having any water in the house. We really haven't had a re reliable source of water in the house for like a month, six weeks. Like a month before we dug the new well, we were having water problems in the house. But however long that's been. It might be better just to move this over can't have this here. Ty? Can't have this here because they come in here through the, with the wheelbarrow all the time. In fact, all this has to go to the right. So might as well just move this pipe over to here and then run it up. I think Tatai we can just move this over like three meters. Yeah. yeah just run it straight through here. Because Zippy and Raniel need to go through with the wheelbarrow. So there needs to be a portion of it buried and covered down there to go over with the wheelbarrow. And this needs to be buried a portion here. A ramp. The outlet. Why don't we uh, I'll put uh, another. You know, I would rather have the outlet to the fish pond operational. Oh, okay. Okay. So that way we can, that way if we have extra water and the pond gets really low. Okay. I will make another. And we have lots of pipe. So what do we need to get? A couple of elbows, T reducer. Only the important is the only for T and reducer. T reducer one. Okay. We were just in town and bought a bunch of supplies, and of course we didn't think to get that. Well, tomorrow's another day. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.